this video is just pure about how you can use the sun to keep your golf cart charged, topped off, and never die. Let's get started. Hey, and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, if in case you're interested in, we want to make this golf cart, it's a 36 volt golf cart, that's the most important for you. We want to make it charging off the sun with this little solar panel on top of here, which I did already install, but we'll go through all the details. <laughs> we will be using the Chenasan booster. In this case, it is a GVB8WP boost. So if you're wondering, your golf cart is running off power. It's an electric golf cart. This is, does not apply to golf, golf carts uh, with gas powered engines, of course. But what we want to do is basically using the sun, especially here in Southern California, we want to use the sun to keep the golf cart topped off at all time. So that means if you have a golf cart, and it does have already some kind of roof. My golf cart came without roof. Um, video up there somewhere. Just an example. Um, I added uh, all the struts. You can buy them, purchase them all online. They're all aftermarket. Link in the description below, just in case you are interested and you have a similar configuration. If not, you can use and utilize just your golf cart roof as it is and slap through a panel on it. What I did is I installed one of those. And by the way, this is bifacial, eco-worthy, link up there as well. A uh, panel which I had laying around and didn't use here anymore. I used it on my Jeep, but it's a bifacial one. So I'm not sure if I will be able to actually utilize, utilize the bifacial um, advantage, but we'll have the Genesan, and it's still in the box, Genesan GVB8WP Boost. And this little solar charge controller will help us to charge our 38.4 volt lithium-ion phosphate battery. So this is a very specific lithium-ion phosphate battery friendly solar charger. You can see it here. Its charge voltage is 42.6 volt lithium and up to 8 amp uh, is what it can put into the battery, which is good because you remember this golf cart was converted to lithium-ion phosphate powered golf cart and we installed one of those very nice Repower Flow 60 amp hour, only 60 amp hour batteries in here. I've been driving it since then, so that's why it looks what it looks like. And that's why there's a second 12 volt battery right next to it, because I haven't finished installation yet. But we'll be installing the Genesan solar charge controller also in here. We'll have all the wiring, and yes, there's more space. I'll talk about it in a second. But we'll have all the wiring going basically all the way down in here connected to the battery. Let me give you a little tour on understanding also what I did here to actually make the solar panel be mounted on the top. So let's get started with up here, what we've done. It's very, very simple. Those struts, rear struts, front struts. Those are the standard struts which come with a golf cart usually when you have a roof. Additionally, what I used and did, because I don't have a roof, there were already some holes in the struts, front, but also in the rear. I painted those unit struts black. Those are not even cut. Those are, uh, I believe, four inch, link in the description below. You can order those things in the meantime. We've done a little plaque paint on them. And I also ordered some unit strut um, nuts, which you might be able to look here inside a little bit. Here's a screenshot of them as well, a picture. And then I just drilled some more holes. They're big enough in this aluminum. I put a little wood in between, drilled in here, so nothing touching actually the panel or destroying it. I did it up front. I did the same up in the rear here. And here you can see actually the nut a little bit better. And then you have to tighten it on from below here. That's it. So that's how it's connected. Now I do have positive and negative wire, MC4 connectors over here. Let's look at the Chenesan. So here we have the Chenesan, right? Entire box does come whoop, with a sticker. There we go. Does come with a manual. There we go too. 
And you can see it does have multiple different model availability, 12 volt, 24, 48, lithium models as well a lot. And very important, lithium has a higher charging voltage, so keep that in mind, you wanna have a specific device for that. And then here we have it, man. Look at that. That is all, the Chenison GVB8 WP Boost. So let's get a closer look because it is, it is a very simple device. And you can see it is waterproof. I believe it's IP67 right at. It's made in the USA. That is so cool to see those days. And it's, it's all over pretty straight plastic housing. We have the wiring, it can go out here, a little notch. And then you can see everything else is here, watertight back there. Uh, that does not come with screws, so you have to have them yourself. Here's a diagram um, which says the panel is here with the yellow and the black. And it looks like the yellow, or oh, sorry, yellow is the positive of the panel. Black is um, shared with battery negative, it looks like. And then we have a plus, which is a red wire. So that means we have this one, the red wire, which is fused. We do have those two black ones and we have a yellow one. So the yellow is for the solar panel, red goes to the battery. We have another black goes to the battery and then we have this other black, which is closer to the yellow, I'll be using to connect to our solar panel. And you remember the solar panel does come with MZ4 connectors, something like this. You can buy them online, you can splice them, you can connect them, it is totally up to you. Um, you can make a bunch of mistakes with the MC4 connectors to splice them, to make them probably work. There are so many cheap ones out there, keep that in mind. So if in case you want to actually do and go the route here with those MC4 connectors, you want to put it on, um, totally up to you. You can also just do easy crimp and heat shrink connection if you want to, link in the description below for those ones as well. That's why I, what I love to use with a heat gun, a little easy crimping and then you're done and you have a really good and proof and very sturdy connection. Uh, if you want to go the route with the MC4 connector because you want to disconnect it or maybe connect it multiple different, multiple times a day, hey, up to you, up to you. I need to extend the wire down to the battery compartment anyways. So I'll be um, doing that now because that's what we need. And I'll be making my connections here as well on the go and I'll show you what I'll plan to do. Okay, I think one, one thing I have to make very clear because we do have this Chenison voltage boosting MPPT solar charge controller. It's different than one of those regular solar charge controller up there, for example, which are actually not boosting. So boosting means it's boosting up to this voltage uh, that their battery needs to be charged. So if you have a solar panel, which only puts out like 30 volts, for example, it needs to be boosted to a higher voltage. And that's what, what this booster is doing. And it's, I think, fairly good described as well if not, here's a nice picture. But also here we have, so this is very important to understand. So you can have a little less, I have to double check the exact numbers, but you can have less than your charging voltage. All right, it's time to give you an update. So what I've done so far, and I have used the MC4 connector, but also I've used the MC4 connector, as you can see, for the negative wire over here. So I spliced the, negative connector over here, extension cord going down here. But I did cut and I kept it like this at the moment. So I will make it nice and neat to have a little fuse here. That's a fuse, fuse switch, which is up to 10 amp or 15 amp, I believe. So I have a little wiggle room and then now putting all the wire, which is by the way, solar wire. And it's also uh, in the description below goes in here and here you can see the two coming from the solar panel, coming into here. Those are the ones here underneath, black and yellow. Those are the ones from up. And then I have the battery connection, which I have not hooked up yet. I put those ring terminals on. I'll now connect it safely to the battery. First, I will disable the battery, which uh, I can do in the app of free power flow to just make sure there's nothing having power as soon as I plug it in, so I'm good. And then afterwards I can activate and start the panel. So at the moment it's switched off. So that's how it works. The specification sheet, you can see here on the side, 36 volt and down here the lithium. That's what we are talking about. That's the lithium 
and we can see maximum recommended panel, voltage, etc., those kind of things. So yeah. What's pretty cool about those repower repower flow batteries here, you can see a discharge on the left, a disable it, the charge is still on, but on the left it's off, so now there's no voltage on the terminal, which means I can safely disconnect those here. All right, so I'm not tying everything down yet, but it's mounted back here, and at the moment what I've done, I have decided it's mounted back there with zip tie, because I don't have the proper insulation hardware sadly today here, but I will mount it to that, to that strut back here with some self-tapping screws. So next step, turn it on. Now we should also see some light popping up probably pretty soon here, if it is connected correct. There it is, it's flashing a little bit, I don't know if you can see that. There it is very shortly, so I mean it's on, but now we'll turn on the connection over here. There we go. And I will see if there's any movement going in, in a little bit. But right now we're in the shade, so I don't expect anything. And I know it's hard to see here, but it is flashing in standby mode. On the right side you see the, the agenda, legend. Standby is short or slow, charging is quick, full is green. So let's see when I drive it into the sun how it performs there. There we go. Well. That's, that's a huge difference. Now you see what it should look like when it's charging. But at the moment we don't have enough power here, not enough sun. So let me wrap this up, put it in the sun, then we'll test it and look into that. Okay, so I do have another setup with uh, the EasyGo RX-V. And when you look here, and it's hard to wait, there we go, I think. There you go, you can see right now we are in the sun. 3.45 amp is going into the battery, which is really cool to see, because on the other battery, which is a 48 volt battery, you can't even see when something's going in because the threshold is so small, I guess. But with this, it's a 195 watt panel, bifacial, so it should be a little bit over 200, but I never got that. So 3.45, 3.4, yeah, 3.45 times 39.44, that's what we're charging it with at the moment. So this is pretty cool. I'll let this charge to full, test it out a little bit more, and uh, continue then uh, next day. But for you, it's in the next second. There it is. Nice. Charging. All right, we are in the peak sun right now. Or at least it looks like, and we have... There we go, we are charging at the moment with around 3.09. Well, is that a peak? Not sure. I'll clean the panel, because the panel might also not be the perfect one here, but... Drive it around. Oh, now you see resetting something. So I'll keep... Now just testing it out, letting it charge. I was already driving around the entire day yesterday. Discharge it more and let it charge in between, so it's pretty cool. Wherever you go and then let it just sit in the sun, it will charge again. Pretty nice. Alrighty, so let's... Okay, so let's see. We are at 95%. We're at 95%, 2.7. Amp is going into the battery with one solar panel. Solar I still want to highlight this, so we're using the bifacial solar for making it worth it here, 195 watt. And that's the beauty. And again, the solar panel is mounted to the roof, or in this case, the unit storage. And we do have a few switch over here, so you can disconnect at any time. Everything else goes here, nice and neaty, down into this compartment. And then we have a mounted right back there. And yes, it is tucked away, and at the moment zip tied. And our connector back here. Yeah, this one is doing the magic here. So pretty cool to see how good does it perform on and actually putting back the sun power into the battery. So golf cord is parked and it's currently just getting power. Pretty cool. All right, the cool thing is now I drove and now it's charging. Crazy, yeah? First consuming power and now coming back, stopping the golf cart, doing stuff, whatever you want to do. And now it's charging and right now it's with 2.8 amps. So it's at 96%, which is pretty great. And as soon as I'm done, hop on or hop in, start driving and I have already charged a little bit more power than it was before. So that's, that's, that's exactly what you want to have with the Genesan charge control. So that means now driving around, 
and pretty much using some energy. But as soon as I stop in the sun, very important, you should stop somewhere where there's enough sun. So the solar panel will charge everything. That's what it is. All right, now a little recap really quick about the entire installation to China Sun. Charge controller is a really good friend for you. There are other competitors out there, other products. Um, some of them may be cheaper uh, than this one. I looked around and I really, it was hard to find something for the 36 volt battery family. So this one is one of those great ones. And again, when you look into this manual or specification, uh, they have multiple different versions. You have to buy the right model for your battery, very important. And for my 36 golf cart, for my 36 volt golf cart, it was harder to find it. So anyways, long story short, you need a solar panel, you need a battery, you need to connect it. Do the connections correct. And then you can just charge your golf cart on the fly, just have it parked outside and you will be happy. Pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know any questions you have below in the comment section. And if you want to see more stuff like that, of course, always subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank you.